you is for traditional Swiss fondue and it's a recipe that's dear to me in the sense that it came from a friend that I met in Switzerland. His name was Phil and he came to visit me here in the States and wanted to make fondue for us and he wrote the recipe down. I have his original recipe with his handwriting and it's just funny how the European recipe, for instance, for his ingredients, they call for, he called for 60% of the cheese being Emmentaler and 30% being Gruyere and 10% of a soft cheese, not actually any kind of measurements that we'd understand, it's an eyeball thing. But on our website, we'll have it so it's clear for you to follow. Um, it's a very simple recipe and it's really fun because this recipe is something you share with a group of people in an intimate setting in the sense that you're all hovering around the fondue pot because this is where everything happens. So I have my fondue pot heating up and it's warm and one of the things that Phil said is very important is you need to rub the fondue pot with a piece of garlic. You just rub it all over. Turn up my heat just a little bit. And I do have the required cheeses that his recipe stated, um, the Emmentaler, the Greer, and then the soft cheese, I used a cream cheese. So you rub your fondue pot, and you get that smell of garlic coming up all around. It's really yummy. And then into it, um, you're going to put a little white wine. And this recipe, this is fairly loose in the sense that it's not like baking. It's basically cheese and wine and some spices, so you really can't mess this up. So you put in a little white wine. I'd use a dry white wine. I wouldn't use something really sweet. And then I have my hard cheeses here that I've grated, and they're gonna go in to the pot, like so. And this is a delicious dish in the winter. In here I have paprika and some white pepper, and that's to taste. I might adjust this later. You can always add more, but you can't take it away once it's in the pot. So now you just need to have this cheese melt and adjust it with the white wine. I have my soft cheese I'm gonna add in. And then with any cheese dish, a delicious addition is a little bit of nutmeg. I'm sure you've all seen nutmeg in the whole form. If you can buy it in the whole form, it's I find it anywhere now, and get one of these little nutmeg graters. It just you just store it right in the top, and you keep it together, and it, it has a different flavor than the already ground nutmeg that you can buy. And it doesn't really cost that much more. You just have to find it. And this is to taste. I might add more, so I'm going to keep this close at hand. So now you babysit the pot. You don't want the cheese to burn. You don't want it to be too hot. And I'm going to turn my heat down. Now I have a rack that I'll have to get for you that once your cheese is melted on a cooktop, there's a rack that you can put up and you can put a little container of sterno or some other kind of camp fuel underneath. But you need to be careful to adjust that. You don't want it too hot. You don't want your fondue to burn. That's never a good thing. Um, so that's kind of tricky. That's a little bit of a maintenance thing. If you don't have that and you just, you can use any pot. You could just use a saucepan for this. This just happens to be my family's fondue pot from you know, the 70s. Um, you can use any pot. And then as the cheese, if the cheese starts to come together and it's not dippable anymore, you just put it back on your stove. It's fine. I'm going to let this melt down. I do have another liqueur that I'm going to add, and this is to taste. Phil suggested this, and I remember him adding it to the fondue that he made for us here. Um, and it's a little kirsch. It's a cherry liqueur. It smells like cherries. I'm only going to add a little bit. Once again, if you like the flavor, you want to add some more, you can do that. Another thing that Phil told us about fondue, when I think of cheese, I think of beer, like, you know, like a nice cold beer or a glass of chilled white wine. One thing the Swiss do not do, and 
it's pretty universal. They would never eat fondue and have a cold beverage. They wouldn't have a cold beer. They'd have a room temperature beer, or they'd have a room temperature white, possibly red wine, but never chilled because their whole idea is you're eating this gooey melted cheese and then you're following it down with something cold and in their mind something horrible might happen inside like the cheese, I don't know. I wouldn't want to stress about it that much, but that's just some Swiss information that I took away thinking, okay, they might be onto it, but I'm not, who am I to reinvent the wheel? So you could have this with your favorite beer, um, probably a hearty beer with something like this, a lager. You might not need a stout with all the cheese. But. So this is melting. Kind of have to be patient with it, so I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And what you serve with this is you get a nice baguette, and you just cut it up. You want it in two bite-sized pieces. It's probably a two bite-sized piece. Some people could be a one size bite piece. The key is when you cut your baguette, do it in quarters. You want each piece to have a piece of crust on it. And that's important because you will skewer it through the crust and then dip it into the fondue pot. If you don't have the crust, you know, this is a lot of cheese in here and it, it can be heavy depending on how aggressive you get with your dipping and you don't want your cheese, you know, your whole piece of bread and cheese to fall into the pot. So that's why the crust comes in handy. It's a little bit of an anchor. And in Switzerland we learn that if your cheese does fall off in the pot, comes off your skewer, you have to kiss someone around the fondue pot. That's what they do. So, you know, depending on your, where you're at, you might want to make sure that piece of bread is secure or not. This is coming along nicely, still melting, and the last bit of traditional Swiss information I can pass along. When the fondue pot is almost empty, and there's just a little layer of cheese at the very bottom, there's a lot here at the bottom, they'll crack in an egg, and then they'll dip their bread into the egg and the cheese, and that's supposed to be the real treat, kind of like the bottom of the pot is the best idea. I'm gonna keep stirring, and then Lee's gonna come join me around the fondue pot I'm going to taste it. Okay, the fondue is ready. And you just play around with it till it's the right consistency. A nice dippable cheese sauce. I have it on its stand and I have my flame underneath. This is what you need to monitor. It'll keep the cheese very hot, so you do need to sometimes put a cover on it shut it off for a little while because right now the cheese is bubbling. So Lee, you want to come try some? Absolutely. Okay. Mm. So, does this mean if my bread falls off I have to kiss you? <laughs> well, we might have to have, you might have to. <laughs> That's okay. We do have a cameraman I'm here too. <laughs> That's really funny. And of course this is hot cheese. So, I was just going to say, um, it's, you really, know. it's really blub, blub, blub. So, yeah. I'm so you kind of do this, and people, you know, they you hang on to your skewer, and you have your party, and people come by, and they sort of swoop in. Oh, is that cheesy? Mm-hmm. It is, and it's hot, so, you know, you do have to kind of know your own palate here. Mm. I'm doing the twisty, mm, twirly thing, and sometimes you just have to go for it. It's like a really gooey grilled cheese sandwich. Mm. You get that flavor of the wine. Mm-hmm, definitely. So just a hint of the kirsch, not that much. You could, we could put a little more nutmeg in it if we wanted to. No, I think it's good. Play around with it. Yeah, I think it's good the way it is. So, you know, you have a whole crowd of people and you keep this going and this will, you know, this is an appetizer that will make a lot of people happy. It's a party in a pot. So enjoy your cheese, traditional Swiss fondue.